The Olympus Mu Tough 6000 comes with a 10 megapixel CCD sensor, a 3.6x optical zoom delivering 28 to 102 mm in the 35 mm equivalent, a 2.7 inch Hypercrystal 3 LCD, waterproof up to a water pressure equivalent of 3 meters, freeze proof up to minus 10 degrees Celsius, and shock proof from a drop of 1.5 meter. The camera weighs 149 grams. With the Olympus Mu Tough 8000, we have a 12 megapixel CCD sensor, the same 3.6 optical zoom, 2.7 inch Hypercrystal 3 LCD, freeze proof again up to minus 10 degrees Celsius, and waterproof up to a water pressure equivalent of 10 meter. It is shock proof up to a drop of 2 meters and weighs 182 grams without battery and car, making it 33 grams heavier than its younger sibling. The Olympus Mu Tough 6000 and the Olympus Mu 8000 both come with similar uh, accessories. They both come with an instruction manual, software CD, a soft carrying pouch, uh, rechargeable battery, the micro SD XD card adapter, hand strap, USB cable, AV cable, power cord, and slight differences in terms of the battery charger. With the 6000, you come with an external battery charger where you fit the battery into the charger. While for the 8000, you come with a power cord which plugs directly into the camera for in-camera charging. And of course, the two cameras itself, the MuTuff 6000 and the MuTuff 8000. Both waterproof and shock resistant. With the MuTuff 6000, what we have it's a camera that's waterproof to 3 meters or 10 feet and also shockproof for a drop of 1.5 meters or 5 feet. Okay. As I said before, both cameras are freeze proof to minus 10 degrees Celsius. This camera is great for uh, a bit of fun at the pool or skiing where you don't really take the camera into an area that's too deep where the water pressure is too much. And you could it's more trendy as well, lighter by about 33 grams to the 8000. Uh, still, it doesn't compromise on the toughness that you would expect from this camera. It has very easy to see uh, dials, very very simple to use as well. Uh, the shutter power button, uh, zoom, and the mode dial where you have display, the intelligent auto which automatically detects the scene, uh, uh, P mode for your own uh, program settings, SCN for scene selection, beauty mode which uh, actually uh, detects the faces and then it allows you to set a degree where it will smooth out the features so that you can take out the blemishes and, and kind of do a cosmetic effect onto your portrait shots. It also comes with a video function of course where you can take video with sound. With the Olympus Mu Tough 8000, while it's heavier, it's also a he more heavy duty camera. It takes, as I said, um, 10 meters of waterproof, so you can actually go snorkeling with this without too much concern. Although you still need to follow the uh, safety procedures before using the camera so that you don't uh, misuse it and cause damage. But the layout of the button is also almost identical to the uh, Mu 6000 with the same power button on the top, shutter button, zoom, mode dial, arrow pad, and button on the side of it. Uh, the function itself is also similar, powering it on you have the customary warning to make sure that you check your camera for uh, to make sure it's properly sealed against water before you take it to uh, into the sea or pool. Here you have the i auto mode which is an intelligent auto mode for uh, Olympus it will automatically detect the type of situation you're in and it will make the necessary adjustment. As I get close, you will see that it will automatically detect that I need a macro mode to display this shot correctly. And of course, if I point it at a portrait, it will also do that. Face detection as well will come automatically while in this mode. However, you may feel that this is a little bit too auto for you and you want some more control. 
so you could switch it to the P mode where you can actually control more in terms of what you want. Alternatively, you have the SEM mode, which gives you something in between, where you can actually, depending on what scene or scenario that you want to achieve, you can select accordingly. For example, you have portrait, landscape, night scene, night portrait, sports, where you actually have a faster shutter speed, of course, and indoor, etc., candle, fireworks, documents, you name it. Of course, uh, a few uh, very useful cameras for these suit models is the underwater scenes where because of the refraction underwater and also the way how the, uh, your flash would be affected with the water these scenes will, will help you make the best uh, use of the camera's function to give you the best images you have underwater snapshot underwater wide the two different versions uh, underwater macro and of course there's also a pre-capture movie mode and snow other than the SEM mode which I mentioned earlier there's also another mode called the beauty mode which applies a cosmetic effect on all your portrait shots giving them a more uh, beautiful looking um, image with better skin tones etc now to demonstrate this I'm going to take first uh, a neck up and incorrect example by trying to take a picture of the box which obviously has no face to it now in this case what you're gonna have is no face detected with face detection error where the beauty mode cannot be applied now to test it more clearly without the help of a model I have here a magazine with uh, an advertising and I'm gonna use it on picturing a face first of all it's important that because I'm using a magazine obviously the face needs to be detected first before I can correctly cheat the camera into believing there's a, a face there and the face is in fact detected and it would then apply the beauty effect to it And you see that the camera tries to smooth out the skin even more to give you a better looking image. If you go back to display, you'd see that you have a small 2 megabyte image size. This is the post uh, uh, beauty effect image, while there's the original 12 megabyte image as well. And of course, that one I just previously flicked through is the first image that I took, so the second and the third being the modified image so you don't have to worry that if the beauty mode doesn't quite get it right for you you can still work with the original when you get home if necessary the beauty mode is a fast convenient way for you to immediately have the effect applied and share with friends on the spot